in Waterbury is facing nearly $2,000 in car repair bills. They actually say the box truck that they used to help people with furniture and food had its catalytic converter stolen at the start of the week. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo has the details on this crime and why it's going unreported. We help people coming out of the streets, homelessness, people coming out of the shelters. A new start. That's what God Provides Ministries International tries to give families through donations of furniture, housewares, and clothes. But an old problem reappearing has forced the Waterbury Charity to seek donations of their own. We, we went to start the truck. And then I hear this loud noise. The catalytic converter stolen from their box truck, putting the brakes on a delivery this week. Charity founder Joseph Oshiang says the thieves left a hefty $1,800 repair bill behind, along with some unpleasant memories. Because this is not the first time. They did the first time they did it with our big truck down there. First one we reported, and we gave them videos and everything, but the cops came, they took a uh, report of everything, but nothing happened. This time around, they weren't even able to capture video of the suspects because one of the cameras in the lot was off and the other one was covered up by a truck. You, you wouldn't even see anything. For that reason, Oshiang says he chose not to report it to the Waterbury Police. A decision public information officer, Ryan Bissett, says is common. Is depending on uh, their insurance deductible and the, and the cost to replace the catalytic converter. Um, sometimes individuals feel it's not worth reporting to the police or they think because of the time of day it happened, uh, maybe no video surveillance, that the, the person won't get caught. Bissette says police do frequently catch suspects who can be traced back to multiple reported incidents. But if they don't know what happened... We can't charge them with that crime. He also says police can establish patterns based on past reports and place cruisers accordingly. Again, if we know about it. God Provides Ministries is accepting donations to get a new catalytic converter. They're running on one box truck to help struggling families get their second chance, hoping converter thieves don't strike a third time. I'm not surprised, but it's unfortunate. In Waterbury, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.